me continually being involved with jazz came by way of Charlie Parker, Dizzy Gillespie, Bud Powell, and later on, Thelonious Monk. So your influences were from New York or Chicago, Kansas City? Well, if you want to put it like that. In the late 50s, when he was leaving Los Angeles, he wanted to drive to New York, but he ended up driving to New Orleans. And then he ends up marrying our mother, Dolores, my mother. Um, and then, you know, they have kids. And the truth is, is that if he doesn't go to New Orleans and he goes to New York, music history after 1980 changes. My dad was in New Orleans. There was a need for a jazz teacher. He took the job and he learned on the job and all of the natural things that he had as a person, his natural sort of inquisitiveness, his cynical nature, his attention to detail, all of these things made him a great teacher. He forced musicians to think. New Orleans influence on me was not traditional. I was involved with learning the craft of by way of bebop and see because of racial segregation there was a schism in a way that unless you were either in a family where you could go on a job with the dad the uncle the cousin i didn't have that our leader ladies and gentlemen is and one of the all-time greats in louisiana's storied musical history please welcome mr ellis marcellus <laughs> 